Thomas, we know how good you are on the pitch, uh, but we want to learn a bit more about you as a person. So can you tell us about what drives you and, and what your passions are away from football? Well, I like to read. Uh, I like to be with my family, uh, joke with my friends, uh, play with my friends. And uh, apart from football, you know, I just like to be happy at home with uh, the people around me. A lot of that will be your family. You've got seven siblings in such a big family. Um, what does the word family mean to you? Family is, you know, we are connected by blood, but uh, after that I have a lot of people that are not connected, but are family. For me, everyone that uh, have a good heart, have a, make you feel great, make you uh, get to where you want to be, for me, it's like a family. And how close are you to them? How often do you see them? And I suppose when you all get together, what's a party party like? <laughs> Yeah, we normally go together when I go with the national team or on vacation. And yeah, it's a family. My mom, my mom cook for all the family, like yeah, 50 people. And <laughs> it's a great feeling, you know, seeing everyone happy around you is great. And tell us a bit about your childhood. What was it like when you were growing up? And when did you first pick up a football? Yeah, I remember playing with my father, you know. Uh, he, he was a footballer, he was playing, but uh, he was the captain of his team and then he took us to his training grounds. We played there and then when I got 10 years, uh, I started playing in a club near uh, that he formed uh, in the village. And we had a great talent. We have so many good players. We played together and then we moved to different city uh, where we were playing in a league, in a youth league uh, among ourselves. And uh, it was uh, growing up, it was the best moment of my life. I was going to ask you about your father actually because he was a, a football coach back home and yeah. how much of an inspiration has he been to you and how much has he helped you get to where you are today? Yeah, when I was young uh, he helped me a lot, he gave me so many advices because he used to play and he know what I need to be a, a professional so he talked to me a lot. Uh, how to be disciplined, uh, how to uh, respect my coaches, everyone around me, and then uh, be uh, always uh, training, uh, training, and also not uh, going out anytime. I have to rest a lot, and you know, uh, simple advice is that will get you to the top. Can you tell us a bit about the story of you going to Spain for a trial? but then that you weren't able to tell much of your family about it. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Uh, my, my, my dad know about it, but then I told him not to tell anyone because, uh, you know, uh, there was a saying that uh, when everybody know about your moves, uh, they can disturb you, mostly in Ghana, because uh, I was playing with my friends and you never know what someone is thinking, so we just, uh, had to keep it secret until everyone sees it. And how difficult was that decision for you? Because um, obviously it's a great opportunity to be able to go over to Europe and play football, but you had to leave everything that you knew behind. Well, I was uh, inspired. I wanted to play outside Ghana. Uh, I was uh, focused on uh, playing with uh, the great people we see on TV uh, because we used to watch uh, uh, La Liga, we watch uh, the Premier League and so many leagues and all my inspiration is to play in that league. How much do you think about that upbringing that you had and the fact that you had to fight to where you are today and how much of that has actually defined you as both a player and a person? Yeah, it teaches me a lot. Uh, I've learned a lot from it, how to uh, take decisions on my own, how to uh, be perfect, how to try and uh, go through hell but then you know after the hell you have a, a important things ahead that you can enjoy so I'll always take those challenges and I, I know uh, with all these challenges uh, you'll be able to make it. 